Massive earthquake and tsunami hit Japan. A magnitude 8.9 earthquake, the biggest in modern Japanese history, has hit the island nation's eastern coast on Friday afternoon, unleashing a 23-foot tsunami that swept boats, cars, buildings, and tons of debris miles inland and prompting a nuclear emergency. Hours later, the tsunami reached Hawaii with initial reports citing some damage. Warnings blanketed the Pacific, putting areas on alert as far away as South America, Canada, Alaska, and the entire U.S. West Coast, where some moored boats were damaged. Reportedly, the harbor in Crescent City, California has been destroyed. According to Japanese police, 200 to 300 bodies were found in Sandaya, the coastal city closest to the epicenter. Another 137 people were confirmed killed, with hundreds missing. At least 600 people were injured. TV footage taken from a military plane showed fires engulfing a large waterfront area in northeastern Japan. Houses and other buildings were ablaze across large areas of land. According to reports, police told by Kyoto News Agency that a passenger train with an unknown number of people aboard was missing in one coastal area. The government ordered 3,000 residents near a nuclear power plant in Onohama to evacuate because the plant's cooling system failed and pressure inside the reactor is rising. The reactor's core remained hot even after a shutdown, and officials said they would release some slightly radioactive vapor to ease the pressure. The plant is 170 miles northeast of Tokyo. The Defense Ministry dispatched dozens of troops trained to deal with chemical disaster to the plant in case of a radiation leak. Major damage in broad areas. Overall, dozens of cities and villages along a 1,000 300 mile stretch of coastline was shaken by violent tremors that reached as far away as Tokyo, hundreds of miles from the epicenter. The earthquake has caused major damage in broad areas in northern Japan, the Prime Minister said. And even for a country used to earthquakes, this one was of horrific proportions because of the tsunami that crashed ashore, swallowing everything in its path as it surged several miles inland before retreating. The apocalyptic images of surging water broadcast by Japanese TV networks resembled scenes from a Hollywood disaster movie. Large fishing boats and other sea vessels rode high waves into the cities, slamming against overpasses or scraping under them and snapping power lines along the way. Upturned and partially submerged vehicles were seen bobbing in the water Ships anchored in ports crashed against each other. The highways to the worst hit coastal areas were severely damaged and communications, including telephone lines, were snapped. Train services in northeastern Japan and Tokyo, which normally serve at least 10 million people a day, were also suspended, leaving untold numbers stranded in stations or roaming the streets. Tokyo's Narita Airport was closed indefinitely. More than 4 million buildings were without power in Tokyo and its suburbs, the NHK news agency said. Around Sendai, waves of muddy waters flowed over farmland, carrying buildings, some on fire, inland as cars attempted to drive away. The airport was flooded with cars, trucks, buses, and thick mud deposited over its runways. More than 300 houses were washed away in one city. Television footage showed mangled debris, uprooted trees, upturned cars, and shattered timber littering streets. The tsunami roared over embankments, washing everything in its path inland before reversing directions and carrying the cars, homes, and other debris out to sea. Flames shot from some of the houses, probably because of burst gas pipes. A very large fire erupted at an oil refinery and burned out of control with 100 foot high flames whipping into the sky. Jefferies International Limited, a global investment banking group, 
said it estimated overall losses to be at least $10 billion or more. The U.S. Geological Survey said the quake hit at 2.46 p.m. local time and was a magnitude 8.9, the biggest earthquake to hit Japan since officials began keeping records in the late 1800s. USGS files show that an 8.9 quake would make it the fifth strongest worldwide since 1900 and the seventh strongest on record. The quake struck at a depth of six miles, about 80 miles off the eastern coast, the agency said. The area is 240 miles northeast of Tokyo. A tsunami warning was extended to a number of Pacific, Southeast Asian, and Latin American nations, including Japan, Russia, Indonesia, New Zealand, and Chile. In the Philippines, authorities ordered an evacuation of coastal communities, but so far, no unusual waves were reported. In downtown Tokyo, large buildings shook violently, and workers poured into the street for safety. TV footage showed a large building on fire and bellowing smoke in parts of the district of Tokyo. The tremor bent the upper tip of the iconic Tokyo Tower, a 1,093-foot steel structure inspired by the Eiffel Tower in Paris. The quake was nearly 8,000 times stronger than the one that struck New Zealand late last month, devastating the city of Christchurch. Japan's worst previous quake was in 1923, in Kanto, an 8.3 magnitude timbre that killed 143,000 people, according to USGS. A 7.2 magnitude quake in Kobe City in 1995 killed 6,400 people. Japan lies on the Ring of Fire, an arc of earthquake and volcanic zones stretching around the Pacific, where approximately 90% of the world's quakes occur. Yes, this was a massive earthquake, one of the biggest earthquakes in the history of the world. And this is another sign of the times, the end times, transition days, which is a continuing day-by-day -day process of extraordinary changes happening all around the world. Luke chapter 21, verse 10. Then Jesus said, Nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, eleven, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines, and pestilences, and fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. Revelation chapter 11, verse 13, and the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and in the earthquake were slain of humans seven thousand, and the remnant were frightened and gave glory to the God of heaven. 14. The second woe is past, and, behold, the third woe comes quickly. 15. And the seventh angel sounded, and there were great voices in heaven, saying, The kingdoms and nations of this world are becoming the nations of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Luke chapter 21, verse 34. And take heed to yourselves, unless at any time your hearts be overcharged with partying and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares. 35. For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. 36. Watch ye therefore, and always pray that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that are coming to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man. Yes, it's happening. It's happening now. It's time for all prophecy to be fulfilled. The fourth angel comes quickly.